and you know your values have to align with the decisions that you make so many youth actually are finding it difficult for them to stay true to themselves a lot of people actually they really want to live a life without you know peer pressure but <laughs> again to an exciting episode of the spark echo podcast and today's episode we are going to be talking about peer pressure and how do you handle peer pressure as a young person oh bobby if you talk about peer pressure oh my god see, see peer pressure is a disease it's part peer pressure keys <laughs> I know we have a lot to talk about peer pressure, but eh, most of the people that have gone astray, eh, what you call Sam, look at me, at peer pressure. I've been making another talk. Hey, boy, how do you see peer pressure? Okay, so um, for me, I think, you know, the ability to know what you want, mm. like know your values, and, you know, your values have to align with the decisions that you make. So, like knowing your values, mm. You know what can work for me if you are someone that you are very assertive about your values even when people come to you you know they know that this is the kind of person that you are so you know having that confidence and staying true to yourself mm. staying true to yourself i think that's the word yes yeah, see i think the 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 reason why many people have gone astray actually is because most of them are not actually you know uh, this your english are being staying true to their self now that won't be the issue see many youth actually are finding it difficult for them to stay true to their selves they know what they want but the ability for them to compose their selves okay you know um when you talk about peer pressure mm. you know it's for you to go against the norm and the value of a particular setting mm. do you understand when you talk about peer pressure you're talking about opposite of you know doing something that is good mm. maybe smoking drinking drug and if you surround yourself with people that are of like minds or are of the same value system with you you know it will be difficult for you to have peer pressure because now you are not going to be pressured but you are going to be motivated yeah. because you surround yourself with the right people so and as a young person peer pressure is something that you cannot escape from whether you know from in the beginning of your journey or whether moving forward in your journey you are going to encounter those people that you know do not share the same value with you, with you. but your ability you know to stay strong to yeah. what you have already believed yeah. in yeah. will keep you so so for me now i want to ask you in terms of i know that you have you know you have gone a, um, past that level of being a teenager you know how those kind of stuff can be okay talk so i wanted to ask you that for you how were you able to overcome you know that stage of being pressured because there is a state for a teenager where the pressure will even be much hmm. do you understand hmm. to do what they are not supposed to be doing so for you how are you were there any time in you know in your life or in your journey that you encounter those people and how were you able to encounter i think when you talk about your own people can actually relate with it and that's the lesson we are trying to pass to them you know if they can relate with your journey then they, they have a, an headway of how they can overcome peer pressure mm. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my own, if I see me, I talk about my own, and I just got help me. See, I'm not lying. Why? Because uh, the way situations be, ah, uh, see, person need to enter peer pressure, person need to uh, fight. See, eh? Yeah, yes, I guess. Now, at the time, now, see, that's how the now God helped me so because the way situation of things there, it is not just about to make decisions. Many people have already made their decisions. You know, you see, that God factor is actually very important. You know, as much as the youth of today don't want to hear any perspective about God, most of them, do you understand? And that's the reason why a lot of them fall into pressure mm. because they don't stand to something if you stand with god you stand for something because god will always lead you and direct you do you understand mm. so i think for me having to overcome peer pressure is you know first of all my identity who i know myself to be mm. and then the second one was finding god early 
you know the things that i was doing as a teenager the thing that i was doing as a young girl i was committed to you know being in the choir you know when you do a lot of all those religious activities that is making you productive mm. so you don't even have time you know to you know to to share things that are not worthy of emulation you know to talk about or give audience to things that are not relevant do you understand mm. so for me finding god early i think was one of the advantage yes the advantage that i had yeah, and and it's not only you that is also the advantage that i have that's why i'm saying that it was actually god from the beginning why because be of, more audible okay that's why i said it was god from the beginning why why because of the circumstances of nature you understand a lot of people actually they really want to live a life without you know peer pressure but weird situation and circumstances have through them they don't have no other options but now this is what i'm and saying to compromise anyways, yes so this is what i'm saying I, I, i'm i'm saying concerning myself if it is from me actually what actually happened it was just god you no know, these days of making money and so many things many people are going into many things in order for them to feel among most people actually they are being deceived into this peer pressure or something why because most of them wants to feel among and this was actually what happened to me okay so let me retreat the fact that you know and majority of the pressure that young people face mm. is maybe when they get into high institution they have they have a, you know a conceived idea from home but do you, do you know that people um your integrity matters a lot people already know you that this is the kind of person that you are so going into you know the university you have to project who you are you know the bible says um let your light shine so bright you know that others will see and glorify your father in heaven mm. so if as a young person if you don't have anything to fall back to just you know have that encouragement that this is what god is saying this is what god is leading you to that Okay, there's this point in your life that everything you have to do should bring glory and honor to God. Mm. Irrespective of whatever anybody is saying, you don't have to compromise on your standard. Because you, okay, as a young person, one thing I would advise you to, not to do is to live a double-faced life. Because even the Bible tells us that if you want to be, you know, hot, be hot. If you want to be cold, be cold. You know, don't be lukewarm. Mm. Let people see you and uh, uh, know. Do you understand? If you project goodness, people know that you are good, mm. and people that you know see you emulate the character of that goodness in you, mm. and that's the light that is shining. But now, if you project, you know, you are a bad person. You know within your your heart that your character is wrong. But when you try to project good, you are not giving room to be helped. Do you understand what I'm yes. saying? I don't know if I'm driving at the point, like yes, I'm yes. seeing on the perspective sure of prep, you, you know, sure. so you are not giving room to, for you to, um, um, as in to see help. Yes. Do you understand? Okay, but ma, see, I have a question actually. Okay. What about those people who didn't actually have the opportunity of building a rightful foundation from the beginning? Like people who just, their life was actually tattered or whatever, but uh, like from the beginning, like no no way of no uh, gaining good manners or ma morals or learning a, a better ways of, of living life. Okay, how so do you, how can we manage just kind of go that are facing that kind of peer Ch pressure. challenges yes yeah, challenges yeah. so one thing is determination in your mind mm. whatever you make up your mind to do you know see change will not come except you seek change mm. except you desire change it won't mm. come so and uh, my advice to those kind of people is that if you know like i said earlier if you are living a life that you know is not worthy of emulation and you want to change mm. there's a there's there's a room for you know trying to learn move close to people that you think that okay this is the kind of life i want to live mm. but this is the challenges i'm having you can talk to people do you understand yes and like you said, majority of these problems are foundational. Foundation. Maybe come from parents, parents their parents yes. not giving care to them yeah. when they need care, and yes. so they were led astray. Mm. So, but you you have come to a point that okay, this is the life that I was made to understand. Yes. But I want to live a better life, mm. right? So you have to seek help 
in the right channels. Mm. You have to seek people that are already working in that path mm. that you desire change mm. in. You know, change will not come oh. except you desire it. Desire. And except you take action, ah, you know, wow. to making it work. Oh. Mm. So that's that's my perspective okay. about that. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, see, I still have something to say, actually. Uh, concerning the aspect of some of the uh, young people that are in, like, they have low self-esteem, low self-esteem. You know, this low, se low self-esteem actually has made a lot of people to go into peer pressure. Actually, yes, low self-esteem. I, 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 I don't know. Like, how, how can we, you know, address this? Because you know, before now, I used to have this low self-esteem of a thing. I'm okay. telling you the truth because I, I felt ah, I can't, you know, I'm no, I can't feel among. In fact, you know, I'm trying to feel among. Yeah. Uh, okay, for me, I think one of the things that I actually suffered for a very mm. long time was you know low self-esteem mm. but now like i said there is a purpose for everybody right mm. and this purpose would place a body in your heart and that body that is in your heart will make you walk the paths that god wants you to, to walk. walk oh my god do you understand mm. so if you you know if you understand the body you will take action in line with the body that you have you have gotten. gotten. So when you take action on the body that God has laid in your heart, because whatever body that God has laid in your heart is a purpose for you to fulfill. Mm. So you have to take the right step. So now you don't you don't focus on your weakness. Now you are focusing on the change that you can be mm -hmm. as a result of the body that you have perceived. Mm -hmm. So that is where your creativity comes to play. You cannot take away the place of creativity, mm. you know, in, in building a good self-esteem. What makes you to have a low self-esteem? Because you have not had, you know, you have not thought about something. something. You have not sat down to be creative. Mm. That how can my life be more, you know, more beautiful than what it is now? Bo, bo, yes, thank you so much, ma. But I have a question, actually. Uh, this question, because I, I also wanted us to, to talk about, like, okay, how can we help? How can we be of help? Or how can those people that are passing through you no know, peer pressure right now being able to know no 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 how can they be saved from such stuff? Okay, so um thank God for the grace of you know for the grace of redemption, thank God for the grace of salvation. Mm -hmm. And God has actually given everyone the free gift of salvation. It's there. When you decide that okay i want to accept jesus into my life mm. do you understand yes god is willing mm. to walk through those weaknesses and make them and one thing you should not focus on as a young person is your weakness, your weakness. instead of focusing on your weakness mm. focus on your strengths right. because it is through your strength that god wants you to lead mm. and become a change agent to the world right. so for us that we are saved and we have been saved by grace glory be to god mm -hmm. it is now for us to you know bring the lights just the way we are doing just the way this podcast is to open the eyes of every young person mm -hmm. to see good in their daily lives yeah. to see that they can lead a good life you don't have to compromise on mm -hmm. the standards standard so, so the best way now yeah the best way is for we that have seen the light nice. project the light to okay. others that is what god has called us to do and when we do this thing we'll find out that we leave everyone on earth mm. the problem that we are always complaining of when we do our own parts you know god will also do his own part mm. because now when we when we project you know the good that we have seen the the things that we have enjoyed being in the place of god it gives other people motivation it gives them the drive to say okay let me see what is in this life that they're even talking about and you can't even see when you don't you have not tried mm -hmm. so they want to try as far as you can try allow god to do the rest god will convict the person okay. in the way that he wants mm -hmm. all right thank you so much okay uh all right so uh like what we have said so far for you to overcome pre pressure you need to have a staying power you Stay need to have power. you know your value system Stay. right mm. you need to not compromise mm. and you need to 
you know find god, find god. and seek god mm. you know like i said one of the advantage that i had and even past Moses, you also said that one of the advantage that you had was, was knowing god early yes. so if you are here and you know you don't know christ and you just heard that one of the advantage of leading a good life mm beyond prayer pressure is knowing god because god will always direct you mm -hmm. so and um, if you want to give your life to christ right mm -hmm. it's the best time because you cannot live a good life without god in as much as it's not something you want to hear maybe this time but it is coming to you mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So, Pastor Moses. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for watching us live. Uh, you are watching us right now. You want to give your life to God. You know that at this peer pressure, don't, 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 don't deal with life. me. Don't deal with you. <laughs> Don't deal with you and you won't give your life to God. Make everything just end. Papa Toto, I've been an answer. <laughs> Make everything just end. Just pray this prayer after me. Just put your hand on your chest. Anywhere you are watching us from, put your hand on your chest. Let's pray. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy Forgive upon me. Forgive me all me. my sins. Forgive me all my sins. Wash my sins away with your precious blood. Wash my sins away with your precious blood. I believe you blood. died for me, Jesus. I believe you died and for me. And at the third day you rose again. And at the third day you rose again. I accept you, Jesus. Jesus, I accept you, Jesus, as my personal Lord, as and, my Savior. Personal Lord and Savior. Help me to walk in righteousness. Help me to walk in righteousness by your grace, by your grace, and by the Holy Spirit, and by the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, Thank you so much. Thank you so much.